Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. Blake Cousins here along with my brother Brent. We told you we're going on a big trip across America in regards to the UFO phenomenon. We started out in the Big Island of Hawaii, our home base, and we jumped up on the United to make our way to Los Angeles. So we're super excited about this trip and taking off from the Big Island. We knew we were on a major adventure. We have a lot on the table. Uh, we're meeting with some of the big players in regards to the UFO phenomenon. Uh, we're so happy to meet once we arrived in Los Angeles uh, with Michael Schratt. He was our first engagement in regards to uh, cracking down this cover up. You know, there is a major media cover up, in my opinion, and uh, Michael Schratt broke it down. And even before we left Hawaii, we're being tracked by Blackhawks, in my opinion. And once we arrived in Los Angeles, we were flanked by another Blackhawk. I don't know. It's just interesting that we have the military craft uh, hanging around while uh, we just arrived in Los Angeles. They're following us in Hawaii and then now uh, here in Santa Monica. But let's get to the UFO footage. That's what you're here for. So check this out, a broad daylight flying saucer we're looking at it really close now. Coming in from Jaime Maussan and his team out of Mexico, they wanted to share this with you right here at Third Phase of Moon. So take a look at this. We're gonna be enhancing uh, the video, getting a close look of this uh, incredible sighting. Watch. Yeah, it's pretty interesting, Blake. This kind of, you, you, we see this all the time over there in South America and Mexico, these same kind of shapes, this kind of diamond shaped craft that just hovers in the sky and you could hear the person, it grabbed his attention. He's calling out to other people like, hey, what are we looking at here? What is this? Could this just be a simple balloon? I don't think so. What we're looking at here is something more dynamic. What's your opinion, Blake? Yeah, it's totally stationary. That's what I'm uh, kind of interested in. And what Jaime is stating too, that in his report, that whatever this object is, it doesn't oscillate whatsoever. It remains pretty static in its form. And usually balloons oscillate. And when we look at other uh, images coming in from South America of the pretty much exact same object, in my opinion, more broad daylight footage. Look at this one. Yeah, it's so fascinating. It's not just a one-time shot. We got multiple shots from the region. Here's a great slow motion of what we're looking at here. And you can see it's rather large. Again, uh, even more shots up in the sky. What's going on? Is this like a new type of drone that maybe is being released over Mexico, Blake? Absolutely. Uh, it's coming in from the region. We're getting them from 2019, from 2020. It appears to be the exact same craft, and that's what I like about this. There is so much evidence coming in from South America and the broad daylight metallic uh, diamond shaped craft. Uh, what's it all about? What What's going on here? We're even looking at this again and it deserves it because what's going on needs to be seen. You're here at Third Phase Moon. We're getting the evidence as fast as possible and sharing it with you. We're on the road right now and uh, everything's fluid, but we wanted to share with you some of these videos that you're about to see tonight. And again, this is incredible footage. Uh, we're getting a really good look here. And I don't think there's any CGI at play here, Brent. What's your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely not. I'm just still curious. Why don't we see these kind of sightings here in America? This kind of shape, this particular craft that we're looking at that resembles everything that we're seeing out of South America and the Mexican region. It seems to have this correlation with the same design. And it seems to have motion and capability of seeing like it, need, it needs to know that it knows where it's going. It seems like it's under control in its own sense. I like the side-by-side -side comparisons of this because there's a history behind this object. It's just not a random video that was captured in a day. It was been, well, what I'm trying to say, it's been captured over the years over South America, the exact same kind of uh, diamond shaped craft. But again, it's very bizarre. 
when we're seeing it from different angles, from different regions of South America at different points of the calendar, broad daylight. That's a great in shot your... right there. You see it amongst the clouds. You can see it's high up there. You can even see the glint off of this thing. It almost seems that it is made with a metallic structure. What's going on here? I'm pretty excited. We got a whole plethora of UFO videos. We're just getting started right here at third phase. Thanks for joining us, everybody in the chat as well. Yeah, buckle up. Let's uh, take a look at this. More video coming out of South America. This one's kind of crazy. Watch this. Let's get a closer look at this uh, strange lit up cigar shaped craft hovering over the skies and we're getting a really good shot at it and I'm going to have to say I'm going to rule out CGI again. What we're sharing to you at Third Phase Moon, we do a lot of work to try and make sure that there is no manipulation of the videos and we can't get it right all of the time, 100% of the time, but we try our best and right now I have to say this is legit footage. I like the the way the person's panning from left to right and uh, whatever this glowing object is, it, it's strange. Could it be an atmospheric phenomenon? Brent, what's your thoughts here? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Could it just be the light hitting a certain cloud during a sunset and highlighting this? People might just say that, that it could be an atmospheric phenomenon. But I'm looking at this and this has been seen again, this kind of stuff all over the world. What are we looking at? Is this maybe a translucent, some people might say a UFO? Yeah, it's actually, you're uh, right on the button there. And I like the way it's captured at uh, dusk. You have this really pretty atmospheric background, the purple skies, the orange light to the left of the sun going down. Um, there could be some atmospheric phenomenon going here. Uh, but as we're looking at it, it has, again, this typical cigar shaped craft, which has been, been reported for over 100 years now with the Michael Schratt report that we uh, shared on Third Phase Moon a couple days ago, he was going over historical files in regards to cigar-shaped, uh, tic-tac-looking uh, craft. Uh, this is pretty cool stuff here. Yeah, I can't wait for the team to show up. They're, uh, they're gonna be arriving in Los Angeles here any day now. We got Darcy Weir, we got Michael Roser, and Goof on Rich Giordano. It's gonna be great having this round table discussion with everybody going over the UFO reports coming in on a daily basis. And I bet everybody on this, on this panel would have something to say about what we're looking at here. What is it? Is it an atmospheric phenomenon or something otherworldly? That's a big question. Absolutely, Brian. And uh, the team is heading down and that's why uh, things are liquid. And once they arrive in Los Angeles, uh, we're going to be doing things that you've never seen on third phase of moon. So, uh, We've again, we've got a lot of videos we're going over tonight. But uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time because uh, we're in Los Angeles and this is kind of the pinpoint of our future into this phenomenon delving down deep across the across the country but again translucent massive craft it looks to be about two to three hundred uh, feet in length here maybe absolutely even, massive yeah maybe even a larger than that as well you can see it kind of peeking over the mountainside there it could be yeah maybe two to three football fields uh, absolutely you know these are the things that the major media needs to share with you that you're not seeing trust me you're not seeing the real story behind the phenomenon look at this um i'm looking at this footage that is again submitted via jaime Mossan out of mexico of what looks to be some kind of again a translucent craft with some kind of a beam coming down below is this is this some kind of possibly reflection off the window within uh the an apartment that somebody's shooting or is this a authentic footage look at this this is crazy yeah it's, it's strange people would say that it looks like a kind of a tractor beam coming in from this disc-like saucer-shaped craft 
And if that's the case, this would be phenomenal. I, I would like to see more video to corroborate this story to just to validate it. That would be the best thing. It almost has this kind of Tic Tac flavor to it. It's, it's rather cool. I guess we're getting some Google uh, imagery of the location where it was shot. And uh, what we're looking at seems to be some kind of possibly a, a, a power plant or some kind of, you know, electric grid. I'm not exactly sure the relevance, but Jaime, we need to get to him in regards to what uh, that Google map is. But it, apparently this it craft, whatever it is, is hanging over some kind of uh, weird situation it's a weird situation let me tell you this is how something that crazy just kind of retracts and then it has that little mass that disappears in the middle of it it seems like there it is it just drops out and it's it's cool it has this a like vibrant blue color to it and then the retractions of the beam is is a phenomenon in itself could it again be just a reflection in a window and we're just seeing this kind of like shaky camera trying to correlate this and and it's not what it is that's a big question. That's what we need to ask. I'm hoping it's legit. In my opinion, it seems that uh, there's something going on here. And Jaime puts up a lot of stuff. And sometimes uh, his his sources, does he get back to them all the time? Not necessarily every single time. But what I'm digging about this video is that, again, we look at these things very closely and I don't see any kind of manipulation. And that's the whole point. Yeah, there's, Is there's, the eyewitness trying to uh, try to do something to fool somebody or is the eyewitness actually capturing something that they can't explain? And at this point, I'd have to say whatever we're looking at is in camera and there's no manipulation here. The best part is we, we put it out there and we're all just trying to find the truth and we're all just looking at this in real time. And everybody out there, fans of third phase of moon we're gonna find out at the end of it all what it is who shot it where it was shot and that's the best part and if it comes down to when we do find out what it was you're gonna hear about it the next day and that's perfect because that's how we squash everything and then we get the information and the truth out Absolutely. And then sometimes we just don't get the answers because there's so much phenomenon out there that happens on a daily basis that uh, there's just things we can't explain. And That's this the is the part. best part of the whole uh, adventure that we're on. We're going after the unexplained. We're trying to find out the answers. And that's what Third Phase of Moon, along with everybody joining us uh, tonight and all our subscribers, we're on the same page. We're on the same mission to get down uh, to the yeah. phenomenon and explaining it. Now we got even more footage coming in. So let's just roll this. Uh, guys, I want you to take a close look at it. This is, again, coming out of South America of what looks to be some kind of like flashing light over the mountainside. We're highlighting it there with the red circle. Do you guys see what uh, we're looking at here? Some kind of stationary craft just hovering over there. Uh, we found out uh, from the people over there, from the region, that there's no water tank out there or uh, any kind of structure, uh, structure whatsoever. Th these lights, whatever it is, it was hovering over the mountain, blinking in and out. Well, that's what it appears to be. It appears to be definitely some kind of uh, a massive ship over the mountainside. Is this some kind of optical illusion, Brent? We could see the people trying to wave their hands in front of it to prove that, again, there's no CGI going on. This is actually real footage. And again, no CGI, no manipulation. I believe what the people are sh shooting on the ground, they have no idea. Uh, no idea what it is. Yeah, this case file needs to be investigated. Again, people are submitting videos to people that are on the ground over there and they're proving to the fact that there's no structure or a light uh, establishment up in this mountain. What these lights are appear to me that they're hovering up there and that's the best part. This, again, this blue fluorescent color of light um, we just saw that earlier in the other video. And this is all, again, happening in South America. There seems to be some sort of correlation, even with the color of these objects and the frequency of what we're seeing them down there. Yeah, we want to thank Jaime Mausson for uh, allowing us to share this on Third Phase Moon. We've been collaborating back and forth. We're sharing the American footage with Jaime and Jaime's 
uh, sharing the South American footage with third phase of moon. So the collaboration is what's what it's all about. We're in this together. But again, this craft, if it indeed is a craft or a structure out there hovering over the mound, this thing's massive. Yeah, that's the question I was going to ask. How big is this thing? I would estimate again, this this is very large. I'd say about uh, I'd estimate two football fields again, these these lights and these craft over the skies of South America and Mexico seem to be bigger than what we're seeing in America. What's what's up with that? Yeah, it's a good question, Brett. Why aren't we seeing these massive sightings in the United States? Um, we, we do. We get a lot of submissions, but it seems like the intensity over South America, it seems that they're not hiding anymore. We we get these broad daylight sightings of these diamond-shaped metallic craft, and then we have these massive illuminant, uh, luminescent lights just hovering over the countryside there. Yeah, I can't wait to get Dr. J as well when he's joining us with the panel and Apollo Hysteria. Uh, she came over to the base over there here at Third Phase of Moon, and we're going all going on all night talking about ufos and she's going to be participating in the whole panel group too we got a great one coming up next check this out So we're looking at this closely and it looks like some kind of a strange, again, atmospheric phenomenon with these orbs that are flanking from the bottom right to the upper left. Uh, maybe the person that shot this at the time didn't even notice uh, the phenomenon of these orbs. But then again, we're seeing other light kind across the US of these strange lights, possibly portals opening up. I'm looking at this one, not exactly sure this one is legit uh, guys i want to get your opinion if that seemed a little i don't know this one's i'm on the fence if you guys could find out about this let me know yeah we're looking at this shot right here and this was during a chinese rocket launch what what's a phenomenon behind it again with the triangle shots that we've seen over beijing china or was it shanghai shanghai china when we were the first to break this a dynamic black triangle over the skies over there again with what's up with china it seems are they getting activated are they using some sort of new chinese space force there as well absolutely and if this one is coming over china again a broad daylight you have this prism effect it's weird it, could it be some kind of like sun dog possibly but what's crazy is these little orbs that are uh, flanking it from the bottom uh, to the top yeah. surrounding it very strange yeah china's not playing elon musk where they have rockets that land back down to earth this is something different that's what's so strange about it was could this just be a, another sky phenomenon it's just hanging over the tower there yeah it's weird could it be a prism a sky phenomenon that could be created during a rocket launch and it just created a perfect atmosphere for this that could be something that we could bring to the table but then again, we see these strange orbs flanking this strange cloud. Absolutely. And uh, guys, appreciate you guys uh, supporting us right here at Third Phase Moon with the incredible you know, conversation in the chat and the super chats. Let me tell you, it goes a long way. Uh, we're on the road. We're trying to find out what the phenomenon is. I think we know that uh, we have some of this stuff locked up in private corporations, but there is an extraterrestrial existence as well, or a possible existence of a past civilization that we're uh, not being told who they are or where they're coming from or what their background is. So, this is our mission. Uh, we're going to have a lot of people uh, joining us at Third Phase of Moon over the next couple weeks. It's going to be action packed, as Brent's saying. So we're excited uh, what the future is going to bring right here. And we wanted to share with you just a quick uh, Cosmic Cowboy music video. We shot it a couple weeks ago. Enjoy, everybody. We'll see you next time.
I traverse the skies Forging avenues the course may never be Phase of Moon, a Cosmic Cowboy, available right now on iTunes and all streaming audio platforms, including the exclusive Third Phase of Moon Cosmic Cowboy merch. The store is open, the links are below. Support the channel, download the single Cosmic Cowboy right now, and get your merch. Third Phase of Moon Cosmic Cowboy, the links are below. <laughs> 